has come for a new universe to be revealed. DC Universe Online. Step into the DC Universe as it comes to life online and put the power of legendary superheroes and villains in the palm of your hand. One of the things we want to do with DCUO is establish a new angle to the online genre. We want to lead the developers, we want to lead the community into this new space and bring them an experience that they don't expect. Our goal for DC Universe Online is to allow the players to feel like they've stepped into the DC Universe. And not only just stepped into the DC Universe, but stepped into the DC Universe through the eyes of Jim Lee. You can look at any of his most recent works, Batman Hush, Superman for Tomorrow, and it's cool, it's edgy, and it's perfect for the demographics for this game. The eyes and ears for DC on the game. Uh, a lot of people at DC obviously are very familiar with the DC universe, um, but I'm a very big gamer, and so I'm in a unique position at DC to really look at the game from both DC Comics person's perspective and also from a gaming perspective. Don has gone through 60 years of continuity and picked out the very coolest parts of the DC universe. These are environments that were concepted out by Carlos Danda, Oliver Nomi, and Livio Ramadelli, and there are various buildings, and we really treat each of the environments as if they were characters. We want them to have personality and a presence, and we do that by picking suitable colors, and also by making sure every element of an environment really speaks of that environment. So if we do a street corner in Gotham City, we want players to be in the game, look one direction, know instantly that that's where they are. At the end of the day, the environments have to work towards gameplay, and if the spaces are too large or too confined, too constricted uh, in their space, they will modify it here. We actually have concepted out every asset in the game, every character in the game. This is the starting point. This creates the dialogue between the artists at, in San Diego and the artists here at Sony and uh, there's a lot of interplay and fine tweaking that goes back and forth. We end up with some really cool looking uh, 3D assets. Not only can you create a character and fight alongside you know, all these great characters that you've loved since you became immersed in the DC universe, you can explore these universes and you could do it on your own time and your own direction. You know, it's really another way to experience and enjoy the DC universe. DCUO is really going to be a breakout experience for people because of the physics-based gameplay that we have. I mean, you're going to be able to create lots of objects in the world and be able to use those as weapons. You're going to be able to use the environment as weapons. The amount of combinations and unique moment-to-moment -moment tactics that this game is going to provide is uh, going to be quite incredible. Basically, the idea is you'll start off as a new hero or a new villain. You customize that person, giving them the powers that you want to have, the appearance you want to have, and you'll do heroic or villainous things. The biggest fantasy a player could have is to stand alongside the JLA there in that lineup, right? Not necessarily to be just another person playing Superman in another Superman game, but instead to be the equal of Superman, to be respected by those guys or on the villain side to be feared enough and respected to participate in their worldwide crimes. The DC Universe has magic, it has aliens, it has high tech, it has just regular guys who've trained up. So from a gameplay standpoint, there's nothing it doesn't have, right? It's a fantasy game plus a sci-fi game plus a modern shooter game all rolled into one. DC Universe Online.